Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel. Now, when you are on approach, getting down to the ILS platform altitude is normally straightforward. You've got managed descent, you've got open descent and the standard arrival route that can take you right to where you need to be at the right time. But for anyone that has flown either online with the VATSIM networks or in real life, they will know air traffic control often has different ideas. They might vector you or give you a shortcut or tell you to proceed direct to a waypoint you might not have been expecting and then suddenly your beautifully managed descent doesn't work anymore. So in this video I'm going to be showing you a really useful hack that we can use in any Airbus aircraft, the 320, 330, 340, 50, even the 380 and this hack uses the fixed info page, the rule of three and the vertical speed predictor and it will guarantee that you intercept that glide slope at exactly the right time no matter what air traffic control throws at you. And contrary to that it's also going to show you if your approach just isn't going to work. Now, first of all, let's just have a look at the normal way, and that is what we've come to know as VNAV. ATC clears you to descend via the star, so you can stay in managed descent mode. The aircraft will follow all of the altitude constraints and place you at the platform altitude at the right time, in the right place, ready for the approach. If air traffic control tells you to descend now to a lower level, then we would use open descent. This ignores any star constraints and takes you directly to the altitude that you've selected while still respecting your speed that you've selected. Now, in many parts of the world, particularly like the USA, this works perfectly because the standard arrival routes are designed to deliver you right onto the ILS intercept point. But what if we are on an approach where the star doesn't actually take you to the ILS intercept point? And here in the UK, that is pretty much every approach at every airport because air traffic control have to give us ILS vectors because no star links up with the final approach fix. And so in cases like this, how can we, the pilot, have our aircraft at the right altitude at the right time for the glide slope intercept? Well, first of all, let's just quickly recap and start with the rule of three. Now that is basically for every thousand feet you need to lose, you need about three nautical miles. So the first thing we're going to do is check our approach charts for the platform altitude for our arrival. In this example, we can see it's 3000 feet. So we want to be nine miles out at this point. If it's 4,000 feet, then it would be 12 miles out and for 5,000 feet then it would obviously be 15 miles out. Now this is where we go to the Airbus McDo. What we will need to do is go to the flight plan page and then the top left line side key and then the top right line side key to take you to the fixed info page. On this screen enter in our airport code and then the runway we're going to be landing on. This then means we can draw a 9 or 12 mile radius from the runway threshold and then on our navigation display we will see the circular ring around it. Our plan now then is to make sure that we are at 3,000 feet as we cross that ring and the Airbus on the navigation display will tell you when you're descending where it's going to level off at the altitude you have told it to level off at. Now quite often if you are in open descent you'll find that you're actually going to level off at your platform altitude much sooner than you need to and this is where we can now use the VS mode. From here if we switch to the VS mode we can watch the blue level off arrow on the navigation display and as you adjust the vertical speed you will see that that arrow obviously moves further away or closer to us and the idea is to select the VS that will get this arrow just before the location where our path will cross that radius ring. And this means that we are going to hit our platform altitude at exactly the right distance from the runway to pick up the glide slope. Now, in practice, always aim slightly before that ring because there will be periods of your flight where you are going to have to level off ever so slightly just so the aircraft can slow down. You can get configured with your flaps. And remember, you want at least flaps two out before reaching 2,000 feet. So there it is, a simple little tip and method you can use to make sure that you are at the right altitude at the right time to perfectly capture that glide slope. Have you used this method before or are you going to use it the next time you fly? If you do, let me know how you get on. Always look forward to reading those comments down below. If you have enjoyed this video as well and found it useful, please don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you're not yet a subscriber, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and of course, live stream flights. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.